You're standing on stage. I remember a woman at a workshop sharing with me, Jesse, I spent the longest time wrestling with coming to this workshop <laughs> because of that damn word stage. And I'm not an actress. I have no acting training. I think I might have taken an arts class once, maybe in the seventh grade. This woman was in her maybe late 50s, early 60s. So stage, performing, I'm not an actor. And I listened. And I got it because it's a scary word. If you're looking at it as a performance in the sense of how most of us will view this word theater or stage with that kind of apprehension of the kid who's forced to, you know, perform and to be on and to be clever and to be brilliant and photo op for grandma and grandpa. Um, I hear more often than not the anxiety of so many people around this word stage. It's a scary ass word, even for performers, believe it or not. And to go back to our friend in the workshop, we talked about why she was in the workshop. And I said, let's put aside this word stage for a second and let's just talk about why you're here. And she shared the old story, the old st story of <laughs> pain and self-talk and negative self-talk and codependency and fear, uh, an old story that she could either choose to judge as simply an old story or a story that actually defined who she was, that defined her reality. And when she chose to make that choice to at least see what the greater story or the opposite of the old story uh, looked like, she was able to get clarity, certainly, but to step into her power because she was stepping into at least a new open-minded idea of, <laughs> of, of a new way of, of living. But it began in a very, very simple moment where she stood on stage and she saw was able to see the choice between the old story and the new story in a very, very simple gesture that came through no words, where she literally allowed herself to stand and get up out of a chair. And that chair represented the old story. And the stand was the struggle into the new story, the victor story, the greater story. And all of that was contained within this moment. That's a stage. And that moment doesn't have to be on a literal stage with a light coming down in front of you and people in, around you. That is the stage that you wake up to at every moment, at every stage of your life. And when you change the way you look at your understanding of this word stage, what do we feel? For those who have experienced theater and the arts before, that moment that comes into our life when we're not in front of all those people can still feel charged with the possibility of something enormous that, that is linked up to the theater. And it's here right now on in, in your everyday life, what you wake up to, the man or the woman in the mirror, the you on a hike in a solitary moment or you and your relationship or you with your relationship, whoever that relationship is with, that moment, that sacred moment is here in this stage. Right here, right now. And what are you gonna do with this present moment? I share the story of this woman because after that, I asked her after her 
performance, for lack of a better word, in front of others. And she said to me the, the words that you never want to even hear from a performer. She said it didn't feel like performing. That's the goal.